Well, it's that time of the year, so let's talk about winter wheat and best seeding practices. Well, for southern Alberta, typically the best time to seed your winter wheat is going to be the month of September. So that's coming up in a few days here now, and uh, pretty much you can get started almost any time. So this field here in particular was seeded a couple weeks ago, and that is very early for winter wheat. But the reason for that is this field is going to get grazed before winter, so we wanted as much growth basically as possible. However, typically the month of September is going to be your more ideal time for it. And you're going to want to use a seeding rate of about 120 to 140 pounds an acre, especially depending on exactly what you're going to be using it for. If you're going to be using it for silage, go with the higher rate. The reason for seeding in September being so successful is that you want to get to about the three leaf stage before it goes dormant for the winter. Basically, you want it to be at about this stage, so three-leaf stage, just as it goes into dormancy. This will ensure the best survivability over the winter with the fewest amount of winter kill. If you're only one or two-leaf stage, your winter kill go, tends to go up significantly. And also, typically, winter wheat has a fairly short coleoptile, so you don't want to seed it too deep. Usually a half to one inch, and then irrigate in as soon as you can. And for fertility, you're going to want to check your soil test results as much as possible. But depending on your management practices, you're going to want to put your phosphate product down with the seed as usual. Nitrogen, you're going to want to put you know, a significant amount down as ESN or a stabilized nitrogen so it'll carry over to the next year. So I usually recommend at least 50% of your nitrogen for winter wheat goes down as an ESN product. And for weed control, you're going to want to be wanting to look for winter annuals. So a lot of things like this kochia and stuff here, as long as it's not too thick that it's going to affect the stand, it is going to die out over the winter. So it's not a huge concern if you don't get rid of it now. But you are going to want to be looking for things like stinkweed, shepherd's purse, dandelions, things that are biannuals or winter annuals. If you take care of them in the fall, then you don't have to worry about them in the spring. Residual products such as Authority and Focus can also be a really good fit for winter wheat. However, depending on what time you're seeding, there might not be a whole lot of carryover into the next year. You can also broadcast Fortress uh, much later on in the year, October, November, and uh, that will give you a decent carryover into the next year. And insects and disease are still active in winter wheat and can cause substantial stand loss. So make sure you use a seed treatment with an insecticide if you have a problem with wireworms in the area. And uh, yeah, if you follow all those guidelines, you should have a pretty decent crop. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.